What is going on everybody, it's Proving It, back at it with another GTA Online video. So guys, today we are going to be reviewing the brand new Overflood Xeno, which as you can see is a little supercar, probably a little Italian supercar. Um, not too sure what it's based on in real life, but anyway, so we're going to be doing a review on that today. We're also going to be doing all, I'm going to be showing you all the customizable features as well. The car next to it is, as you can see, this is the new Baller, Galavanta Baller ST, which was also released today as well at the same time. We're going to be focusing on that in another video, but today we'll just be focusing on the Xeno. So, as always, let's take a look around it and then we'll take a look inside. We'll go for a little drive see what the performance and the handling is like standard and then we'll go through all the customizable features and then go for another little drive to see what has changed okay so as you can see the interior is actually a nice interior not gonna lie not sure if it's as nice as some of the other interiors i've seen um, from other cars on this game but it is a unique interior that is what i like about it it's not one of the copy and paste interiors that rockstar like to put on quite a lot of the cars these days but yeah, overall, not a bad place to be. So let's go for a little drive and the, let's see what it is actually like. Now, as you can see, it is it is snowing. Now, it is actually a bit difficult to actually cast my full opinion on, uh, on a car performance and handling-wise in the snow, but we'll certainly give it our best shot. Uh, now, it's performance-wise standard is actually not bad. Um, actually, one thing I forgot to mention at the start, this car will cost you just over $2.8 million, so it is pretty expensive. Is it worth it? I'm not too sure. I, I do think the it is a little bit more expensive than the Picasso Ignis, and uh, overall, I, do, I just think that is a much nicer car. However, I'm not saying this is bad. It is still very, very pretty. You know, handles well as well. And uh, performance-wise, it uh, it's is—it's—it's pretty good fun as well, especially especially in the snow. But as I say, I need to uh, <laughs> I need to sort of test it out in the when it's when it's not snowing when uh, when it's not December, of course. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So anyway, let's head back and let's go through all the customizable features you can find on this car. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. Dream, believe in strength. Now I'm the only one, only one. I was an ordinary boy until I broke the rules. My life destroyed.
So there we go, that's all the customizable features on this car. Now, as you, as you guys can see, I stuck with the original wheels just because they were nice enough standard out of store. If I mess about with them, you know, if I, if I put any other wheels on it, I just had a feeling I was just going to ruin it. So I didn't uh, I didn't mess about with the wheels at all, just added bulletproof tyres, which is essential for any vehicle you buy in the game. It only cost you 25 grand, so, you know, so in GTA money, that is not a lot of money. So every car you buy in the game, always worth doing that i'll say that every single time so anyway let's take a, a little drive with it all fully upgraded now performance wise it's definitely improved it's definitely um it's a bit more fun but uh, i won't say that much more fun if that makes sort of sense i mean uh, i mean obviously don't, don't get me wrong this is still a very respectable little supercar it is it looks great you know and uh, you know it is sort of like uh, if you think of the Italia rsx it's just like to me i don't know about anyone else it's just like a little mini baby version of that really but no matter how good it is, if I was given a choice of, uh, like, I'll bear in mind the price, it is very similar price to the Picasso Ignis. I think I would rather have the Ignis, to be honest with you, over this. But I will give it a very respectable 8 out of 10, with everything all, all, um, all, all, all bearing everything in mind, you know, performance and, and all of that, you know, looks and everything. By the way, guys, hope, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's going to wrap this video up. If you've enjoyed it, then a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Also, consider subscribing for more stuff like this in the future. And if you don't, do not forget to hit the bell icon, turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any future content to come, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I will see you all on the next video.